So I'm just going to give a brief demo then of how uh, repo work on the GLAM application. So first, when you log in, you are going to go to the results space scheme. Then you're going to see a list of the client details. So whichever of these you want to choose to go into, you're just going to click on the side and go to view. Here, you'll be brought to be able to create a farm plan. Um, as you can see in here, there's nothing available. So we need to go into the open map. Uh, once in the open map, we can select the feature. Then we can select a parcel. Uh, from here, we need to create a field. There are two options available, so your LIG and your um, mixed species lay. So you just want to choose which of those and then give it a label, which is basically just an, um, a name to more easily identify it. So once you create that, you can see that's been created on the field. We can repeat this then and create a different field type. And then again, just make sure you give it a label. So in this case, we're going low input and we're saving. Then it's also possible to divide a field. So if we want to do that, we want to select our feature. And in this case, we are selecting the test field. Once we do that, we can see on the right that there is an option to divide. Then we simply want to draw out the parcel kind of outlet, outline as to where we want it to draw. Don't need to be um, too specific with the lines as it will snap back for us. Again, we just want to give it a label and a status for the field. Once we are done with this, then we'll choose to save. And now you can see that there's a line in the middle of the field for where we drew the new field. So when we click on it, we can see that the two fields are available. As you can see, there's a slight error edit issue. So if we want to edit that, we just go into the label and we can change the name as we want to. And then we'll just apply that. Again, you can change this any way you wish. Uh, so don't have to worry about it not being editable later. It's also possible to do this with the modify function on the left here. Then it's also possible if you want to zoom in closer, we'll just click this button and then draw where we want to zoom to get a better view of the parcels. Then back in here, we just had the edit. And now we can see that the scorecards have been created for the fields. So we'll just click on view scorecard. And it's just asking you to leave the page, that's fine. Then we can see here that we have the mixed species lay scorecard. So each of the questions are here. So for the first one, you need to tick the species that are present. Once you're done, you can choose to save the question, or there's also an option to add other species if they're not already listed. You need to make sure to enter a name into this other box, otherwise the species won't be counted. See so then from saving it, the next question is just a category question, so choose one of the options available. Then for question three, this is the fence field margins question. So if you haven't already done this, you can go back into the open map. We can zoom then in and to do it, we need to select the feature. Then the field that you want to choose, you can see it's highlighted in red now. Then we will draw. So this is a list of options that include the fence field margins, the boundary features, and the complementary actions. It doesn't matter which open map you use, they will be saved according to what they are. So for the drainage ditches, you just need to add a label. Then you can save once you're done. So then if we are to repeat that, Again, we want to select our feature, the test field. And then we want to draw. So this time we'll 
drop down the menu, we can see that there's different options available to us. So we're choosing fenced field margins. Again, you will want to draw this wherever it is in the field. So obviously for the fence field margins, there's the option of bonus points if it's near a drainage ditch or a water course. Again, we need to give this a name. And in the case of fenced field margins, you also need to choose a margin width from the dropdown. Then choose to save it. Then if we want to do this again, we can choose the field, draw, and this time we'll choose the hedgerow planting, and this is a complementary action. So this will be at the end of your scorecard. Um, in this scorecard, you will need to indicate if you have drawn these, and then you will also need to specify the recommended location. So in this case, we're also giving another label and a status and then saving it. So again, draw, choose from the drop down menu and wherever you want to draw this uh, complementary action. Give your label and your status. You can see then that all these features are available on the field. So when it's not highlighted, it's easier to view the tree planting, the hedge that you've drawn, as well as the drainage ditch and the fence field margin, and then just one last drainage ditch here on the side. So then once we save that, We can return, we can edit our map, then go into view our scorecard again. So again, these have been saved from earlier. And then the fence field margins, as you can see here, has been brought in from what you have marked on the map. Also, the bonus points, you need to choose yes or no. You can choose to override this if you think it's not accurate. Um, you can also choose to add a comment to help um, validate your reasons. And don't forget to save your question, otherwise you'll have to redo this. Again, then for the boundary features that we drew, they came in as well. We can see their length and their density. So they're below the density, so no marks will be provided. So then we just choose, this one as a category question, and also you need to tick which are relevant. Also is the option to choose an other or option you just add all the relevant ones in there in that box. You don't need to do the same as the first question. Then there's the option for your management advice. So tick all that you will be recommending. Then for your complementary actions, what you would have drawn, you should tick the box and give the recommended location and also go back into the open map if you haven't already done it. Then you can provide any other comments in this box at the end. And don't forget to save. Then at the very end, you need to save the scorecard and calculate score. If it is blue, it means something has not been completed and you'll just need to look through your questions. Then you can save your scorecard and calculate score. So if we return back to the scorecard list, this time we can look at the low input scorecard. 
again, very similar layout to the mixed species lay. So for question one, you'll just want to tick all of the boxes that apply to you. And then you don't need to worry about any marks on this as they are being calculated automatically for you. Then save your question. And then question two, again, is a category question. Question three is also a category question. Question four, choose a category and also tick any of the indicators that are present. Um, in this case, for fence field margins, we haven't drawn any, so we tick not applicable. For the bonus points, we tick no. Then for any boundary features, we haven't drawn any on this field. So for the boundary features, you'll also tick not applicable in this case. So in zero marks, you'll save your question. Then these are category questions with tick boxes for the relevant ones. In some cases, you will have to take at least one category and others, they won't be necessary, but obviously take whatever is present in the field. Again, you have your management advice and your complementary actions then. And then obviously you can add any other comments. Save it and then we can choose to save the scorecard and calculate score. So in this case, negative 15 for your scorecard, but turned into a field score, that's minus two. Now, obviously they're not all negative if you choose higher marks. So if we go back and change some of the questions to be with higher marks. So for question three, if we choose the good instead of the poor, we can see it updates to 10 marks. And then for the second question, if we update it to very high, we can see that updates to 25 marks. And then for the first one, if we up that, so we just take more of the species that are present in the field. You can see that's 20 marks now, save that question. Um, it's important that if you save any of these, you need to return to the bottom of the scorecard and recalculate your score. So at the bottom, then we recalculate and we can see that it updates to 15 or a field score of two. Then if we return back to the scorecards, once we're finished, we have the option to save the draft if we're not ready to submit it yet which you can see will provide a pop-up. Then it, when we're ready to submit the plan, we can just click on this button, submit plan. And that's the end of the demonstration of how REAP will work in the GLAM application. I'll now pass you on to Anthony Ryan to discuss IGRISMAP.